the Home Depot Center as the home stadium of the LA Galaxy. Believe it or not, guys, I'm going to go watch LA Galaxy and David Beckham play right here in Los Angeles. So Pratik and his family is somewhere inside there, so we're going to go look for him. Since I got here late, I can't seem to find Pratik and his family due to the huge crowd. But thanks to the Major League Soccer organizers, they were kind enough to place me. Can you believe it, guys? I'm actually at the side field of the LA Galaxy games. They're playing San Jose Earthquakes today. Just so you know, it's the first game of the season for the LA Galaxy. Why don't you just watch the game? They're just about to kick off right now. I can't believe David Beckham is just like right there. The atmosphere was unbelievable. The crowd is alive with all sorts of people coming to support their favorite team. The press was there to cover the game, and they even had half-time shows to keep the audience entertained. I guess my perception is wrong. Soccer is great in America, man. Eh? After the game, I managed to sneak backstage, and guess who was there? Oh my god, you won't believe who I just saw. It's Kobe Bryant, man. Even he's here at the LA Galaxy games. Kobe! <laughs> Well, I guess Kobe didn't see me. It's 6 a.m. and Pratib's getting ready for school. Check out what he's wearing to school. Jeans, shirt, and a jacket. No Ooh. uniform. This is Redondo Union High, home of the Seahawks. And this is my first experience in an American high school. And it's exactly like I imagined. It's just like in the movies. My school is the biggest in the South Bay. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, to walk to one classroom to another classroom, you need at least like eight to ten minutes. And I helped him select courses, and I, because he's interested in being an aeronautical engineer, I urged him to take physics or something like that, and he's really enjoyed that. And he's a, uh, a teaching assistant in that in that class, and that's working very well. And he was chosen from hundreds of, of kids to do well and show everything good that everything there, there is about Malaysia and Malaysian people. This is my economics class, and yeah, it's pretty chill here. Yeah, everyone is cool, especially that guy over there. Yes. Unbeknownst to me, Joe is the king of Malaysia. And so we have, we have the camera crew here today to film Joe and his exploits today for the test that we're taking right now. Test? I hate test. But thank God I'm just an observer. But as for you, Pratip, all the best facing your economic teacher. <laughs> oh, it's an open book test, and apparently it's a common practice here. No wonder everyone is so relaxed. The schools here tend to be progress along the way. You have a lot of tests, little tests, and the final grade you get is more dependent on how you do in the classroom. Uh, in Malaysia, it seems that the school system is more oriented toward preparing people for, for taking the test. And so it's an interesting difference. Supposed to be sent for an exam, open book exam, and it's got a marriage. Yeah. One thing here you can eat in the class. Come Malaysia too, jangan harap lah, cikgu cikgu tu. Memang marah punya. Ini cikgu ni, tengok, saya makan kat kelas. Uh, my name's Chad Namak, and I teach Joe in economic. Joe's been in our class, he's been fantastic. I, I find it amazing that somebody can come from another country and adapt so well. He's done, he's done a great job of fitting, and he's done very well in the class. We do current events where we take topics and things like that and talk about it. He participates and does stuff and asks questions when he needs to, which I, I think is to somebody to come from another country where we're, our culture is different than yours and just to fit in. He's done a great job. With so much freedom here, I wonder how they discipline their students if they get out of line. Well, usually we beat them. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how, you know, culturally how discipline works in, in Malaysia. Here, you know, there's no physical or anything like that. We're not going to, you know, spank anybody or do anything like that. But uh, we hold a high standard in terms of responsibility. You know, you're supposed to do this. If you do it, you're held accountable for it. If you don't, then you pay the consequences with your grade or whatever. Teach me something to say. How do you say, what's up? Do you say, what's up? Uh, ah. Yeah. They don't believe us that we speak English. They do. Yeah. Pratip even taught one student to speak Malay. Is there like a Malaysian like language? Yeah, we, have, yeah. we speak the Malaysian language too. What's so. it called? The Malay language. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me something to say. Okay. Um, How do you say you're beautiful? What are you doing? Kamu chante. Hey, Kamu chante. Hey, Kamu chante. 
<laughs> oh, this is something cool. You always see this on TV, you know, in American high school in the lockers. We're in the locker room right now, man. So, hey, Joe, where's your locker, Joe? My locker is in another side, but uh, this is where usually people use their lockers. You can see. After each subject, people use their lockers to change their book here. The teachers stay in the class, the students change, right? Yeah, the teacher stays in the class and the students change. So yeah. the students go to the class, right? Yeah, it's more like um, a high priority for the teacher than the students. Here he started in the middle of the school year, so breaking in is hard to do, and he did, he's done an amazing job of, of making friends. So these are all my friends. Okay. Uh, he's a real cool kid. Yeah, I just met him this year and hang out with him every day at lunch, <laughs> so it's all good. Joe's way cool, man. <laughs> I'm Malaysia, never said I've met someone from over there. It's way cool. Oh, he's pretty tight. I love him, and he's always got the freshest clothes on. <laughs> he's a buster rap. I haven't heard a rap from him yet. He says he's an MC, so hey, Joe, you wanna, I need to see that. You want to you wanna rap? Joe, I need to freeze right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Hallelujah. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I, I don't know any rhymes. No, I, I don't know any rhymes. <laughs> You want to be you want to be 17 and come to this exchange program, right? Yeah, man. I wish I was 17 again so I can come to this, this exchange way. program. This way. This way. Yeah. Uh, the next class that I'm heading to now is my physics class. Are you late right now? Uh, yeah, kind of. But uh, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about it. Why not? You got special treatment. Yeah, I got I got I got, I got special treatment here. <laughs> so okay, man. Okay. So you take care. You go for the class. I'll be touring around LA some more, and I'll see you later. What's up, man? Alright, so he's in for his next class and now we're off to Hollywood, baby! <laughs>